Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know I've been gone for so long, but I had to get back just in time to start getting together some stuff for the holiday season. So today we're going to be making none other than the classic holiday favorite, corn pudding. So sit back, hit that subscribe button, and enjoy the video. So just like anything else that we're going to bake today, we've started by preheating the oven to 400 degrees. And we have a 9 by 13 pan just because that's what this recipe fits. If you cut it in half, it fits an 8 by 8 really well if you only have a couple of people to feed. Uh, just a large bowl to start mixing in. And what we're going to do is we're going to put five large eggs in there. And then we're going to beat them until they kind of lighten up in color. We're going to add in one quarter cup of sugar, one third cup of melted butter, a teaspoon of kosher salt. And once we beat all that together, we're going to add in four tablespoons of cornstarch with half a cup of milk. And then we're gonna follow up and finish off with about 15 ounces of cream corn and about 30 ounces of corn kernels, or the equivalent to about one can of cream corn and two normal sized cans of regular corn kernels. So, let's get going. So like I said, we're gonna start with the egg. And we're just gonna beat these until they lighten up. So. All right. So now we can go ahead and add in the sugar and the butter. Of course, I like to make sure I rake all these down so we get all of that. You don't want to leave any butter out of anything. So. Go ahead and make sure we get all the butter in there. And then the salt. And we're gonna go ahead and beat this together also until, until we make sure it's nice and dissolved. All right, so it's all kind of coming together now. We're gonna follow up by just pouring the milk in. And the cornstarch. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and rake down the sides since cornstarch sometimes has a little bit of trouble going in and sometimes you end up with a little bit of clumps on the edges. We're just gonna go ahead and rake it all down, wipe all parts down, and then beat it for just another second. So as you can see, everything's nice and smooth in there now. So we're gonna go ahead and add all the corn and the cream corn to it. And since everything else is smooth and already ready to go, we could just stir this in, but we're gonna go ahead and beat it for an extra second just to make sure that everything's totally incorporated all the way. So, as you can see, everything's really well mixed together, and it looks kind of thin right now, but that's okay, because the egg that's in there is gonna make it set whenever we go and uh, take it out of the oven. So we're gonna pour into our well-greased 9 by 13 pan. Rake everything in there so we make sure we get all the goods, and then we're gonna go straight into the oven. All right, so we have our pan of corn pudding here. 
As you can see, the oven is up to 400 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead, and we're just gonna place it right on a center rack. And I'll probably rotate it in about half an hour. All right, so as promised, it's been about half an hour. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the corn pudding out. As you can see, it's starting to kind of get to where it's setting a little bit. We're gonna turn it around. And we're gonna go back in the oven right here. And we're gonna check on it in about 20 more minutes. All right, guys, it's been the 20 minutes that we mentioned. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and give it a check real quick just to make sure that we're not gonna go too far. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wiggle it back and forth and the way it jiggles just a little bit like a custard would if it's set, that's how we know it's finished. So there you have it. That's how you make your corn pudding. So we all know that we love corn pudding, but don't forget that you can always top your corn pudding with something really crunchy and salty to give it that extra kick. Personally, I like crispy bacon or spiced chicharrones. Comment down low and let me know what you decide to put on top of your corn pudding or how yours turns out.